All right, here's a bit of a weird one. This is Ready Steady Cook for the Wii. Uh, if you're not aware what Ready Steady Cook is, uh, it sounds like it's had multiple international variations, like Ready Set Cook, I think is the American version. Ready Steady Cook came to Australia as well. Uh, in the UK, it was a show that aired, so it started in 94, uh, got cancelled in 2010, 2009, somewhere around that time. Uh, it was originally hosted by Firm Britain, but most of its runtime was actually through um, Ainsley Harriet as the the host, who was previously a TV chef. And it was fairly well liked. It was kind of in that same category as The Weakest Link, of being like this daytime, four o'clock in the afternoon, get him for school and it would be on kind of TV show. Flog It, I suppose, has that kind of uh, mentality now. Uh, this Wii game came out in 2009. I've done a little bit of digging. Published by Mindscape, who is a company we've come across before, published loads of, uh, of kind of licensed games. Uh, developed by Sanuk Games, I think is the way you pronounce it, uh, who appear to be partially French, partially Thailand, I think. Or at least they have headquarters in both those countries. Um, and also Ring Zero is another name on this game, who uh, a, a studio from Thailand as well. So I'm guessing that's where the game development took place just my guess though uh, I didn't find very much information Sonic Games have done loads of stuff uh, but it's mostly kind of like Sudoku games they did crossword challenges for the DS a lot of DS and Wii stuff uh, browse games that sort of thing with all that in mind let's, uh, let's jump in I am going to have a quick look at that and I'm going to say well I've got to be a red tomato haven't I can't be a green pepper let's go normal uh Okay. Interesting choice of how to pick a chef. You just have to pick a... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know that I feel comfortable Only a Mediterranean chef. So this was the, the conceit of the show was essentially that, you know, the person would bring the bag of ingredients in um, and then the chef would have to dream up something that they could cook with it. Uh, they didn't have multiple price ranges. I think it was it was a fiver at the time, which probably would have gotten you a hell of a lot more ingredients at the time than it was now. Because <laughs> a fiver at the moment in this country would probably get you a packet of Oreos and uh, a can of Monster. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> oh, let's not get depressed about 2017 Britain. Um, I'm gonna go classic because that's got that's got goat cheese and what appears to be a ham and one carrot. Let's go for classic. Uh, oh, I want to do the parmesan prosciutto. Let's do a soup. They did burritos. That's not fair. Uh, yeah, so you essentially have two people put the ingredients in the larder, peel the carrot. Okay, so that's that's kind of the uh, the instructions. Yeah, you have two teams competing. They're twenty minutes. Then Ainsley Harry would taste each meal. And the audience, I think, would vote. And then whoever won the vote did the dessert. And that was the show. It was 45 minutes long. It was pretty simple. I actually quite enjoyed it. It was, you know, in an era when cooking shows weren't that common, it was pretty damn good. Uh, I think when it got cancelled in 2009, 2010, the TV was absolutely overloaded with cooking shows, which might have might have been why it got cancelled, actually, to be honest. Point of the agreement is the chef is asking for with the Wii remote. Press A, select them. I can't remember what I was supposed to be getting. Oh, onion, uh, honey, I need that, I need some oil, and I need a lemon. Peel the carrots. Swing the Wii remote at the right moment to peel the ingredient. So what's this going to be asking me to do? Oh, right, so it's, I see. It's like WarioWare. Where'd you got a second carrot from? Stole that. Chop. Uh, okay. I'm trying not to hit the microphone. I apologise if I uh, whack the. Uh... Yep. Oh, so I have to shake it. What? I don't. Oh, I see. Sorry. The sensor bar needs to see what I'm doing. That's what it was complaining about. Squeeze the lemon. Quickly twist the wheel right in the required direction. It's gonna be left and right then, I guess. Oh, 
All right. So far, so good. This is just kind of basic Wii remotisms. Damn well, squeeze that lemon. Measure some water into a bowl. All right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Memorize the order and timing of when to add each ingredient and replicate the sequence. Oh my god. Orange carrot, blue, yellow, green honey, purple lemon. Oh, sh Jesus. No. That was. I did that badly. Left and right to control the temperature. Keep the temperature in the green area for as long as possible. Oh. Oh my god, this is complicated. I don't know about you, this is how I simmer things at home. I just keep turning the heat up and down. Most things are not this sensitive. Especially not a bloody soup. You just leave it on. Leave the veggies simmering for hours and hours. Blend it. Okay. I'm an excellent blender. The faster you move, the faster pro the progression gave me. Okay. So I need to... The black pepper's going to be the same. This is, seems like an interesting concept for a game. Mm. Not perfect. Yeah, see, you're shitty burritos. My carrot and coriander soup wiping the floor with you. Come on, I gotta win. Yeah, take that. I get a winner's plate. Yeah, I'm not the Parma ham. Is that it? I thought Teleaddicts was a short game. Oh, so I bet you get different dishes depending on. Oh, okay. It's maybe not as offensive as I had previously thought. <laughs> oh, let's do some spring rolls. Glazed carrot, get out of it. Okay, now I know I don't have to memorise them, I'll just look at the top left of the screen. Uh, coriander is that one. Uh, that one. And chilli sauce, where are you? Like the 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 motion controls are not that bad for motion controls. Like I'm used to the motion controls just being terrible, so this seems to function. There's more than I can say for most Wii games I play, even like <laughs> big budget, well made Wii. You know, or theoretically well made. More shaking the Wii remote. I can see people getting some enjoyment out of this. It's obviously not for kind of mainstream gamers, but I don't think it was meant to be. Just chop the bloody things. The chopping seems to be a little bit dodgier. I'm trying to go too fast. Point at a pan with the Wii remote and hold down the A button to select it. Move the Wii remote in the direction of the arrow to... What? I've got to fry all three of these at the same time. Ah, I see. Uh, no. I need to stir that middle one, but I can't. There we go. The selection is a little rough. I'm mad because I'm a little bit too close to the TV. 
forget how we how we games are supposed to work to be honest it's been a long enough since i've played any of them but all these pans seem to have the same thing in them no come on shake the bloody there we go Ah, that's this. This could be better. <laughs> Feel bad for uh, saying it was awesome now. Come on, shake the. Why is that not working? Oh, motion controls. Gee, I hope I get a switch at some point. If I can relive the motion control magic. I don't think anyone's gonna be making a really steady cook game for the switch. I don't think anyone's gonna be making anything for the switch. Take that. I'm gonna run out of time here. I what happens when you run out of time. Yeah! Come on. It's just irritating now. Time out! Ha! <laughs> This will be interesting. This always worked well in Cookie Mama. <laughs> Fah! <laughs> this is... So what we've learned is make soup, not, uh, not spring rolls. Tilt the Wii remote up and down to separate the yolk from the white. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What am I supposed to be doing? What? This makes no sense. How do you catch the... That egg just leaks. Can you just chuck it back. No, see, that just doesn't work. I sense the problem with this game. Wow, that didn't work at all. Use the control pad and the A button to add the ingredients in the bowl. Working again. I do need to move away from the TV, it seems, which is... I apologise if the sound's about to go crazy. I'm still... stirring. Still stirring! Hello? I don't know what you're asking of me. Come on! Stay the bloody thing, Jesus Christ. Is this game set up to only have one working recipe? Am I is this have I just been duped? Because this isn't <laughs> This isn't working. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Hold it up there. That seems to work. I've only mixed one ingredient. And slowly at that. Oh, just... <laughs> Mix it all tomato sauce, chilli sauce, soy sauce, chilies and coriander in a blender. Okay. Blending, I can do this. I'm an old pro at this. Oh, 
Look at that. Release them in the pan. When the ingredients are cooked, remove them from the pan and place them on the tray. Before they get burned. This will go well. How am I supposed to know when they're cooked? Ah. Just like frying normally. They just go gold and then you pick them up with your hands. Not a great message for kids. There's always one spring roll that's more overcooked than the rest of them. Point at the differences between the two dishes with the Wii Remote. What? We're doing spot the difference now? Who cares? Is there one there? Is there really another one? There's five apparently. I fear my taste test might not go well. Pfft, glazed carrot. That's not even a recipe. Oh, how difficult. You know, when I go home at night, all I want is a really good glazed carrot. I'd take a ready, steady cook mug. That seems like a good deal. That's still a lot to need recipe, though. Talk about the budget one. Chilled melon soup. Is that a thing? All right, one more, one more, one more. We've got time. So the larder, this is a, a, probably a part of the show I haven't explained, is that they do have access to a wealth of kind of ingredients. So you don't have to bring spices. They have those in the cupboard. Oh, geez, not frying. Sugar, whatever that is. I guess this is supposed to be a difficulty then. I guess the basic is the, the easiest of the the four settings. Which is good because this will make me feel like a pro now. Clean the melon. Okay. Seems kind of ropey, I don't some of these mini games aren't really explaining what we're supposed to be doing here. Yes, blending. If anyone ever asks me what my uh, my specialty is when I'm cooking, blending ingredients. But blending ingredients consistently and making sure it doesn't overflow. This is very difficult so I'm having to use my left hand to try and play <laughs> Because <laughs> the sensor bar can't really see my right hand. Oh, is that it? Man. So, speedrunners. If you want to speedrun this game, do the basic uh, recipes. Oh, it's got to be me. Yeah. I've got two winner's plates and a mug. Almost got an entire dinner service. So is that it then? You just have... Well, there is a different difficulty setting. Mm, it's like black bean salsa and spicy tortilla. For the Indian, what we got? Biryani, chili fretblet. Oh, sounds good. I like these things. I would eat most of these things. Oh, actually, 
puts a little mug next to the thing that you uh, failed at. Great. What's in the budget? Glazed carrot is the cheapest one I've seen so far. If you'd have gone on that show and done glazed carrot, I think you would have been laughed off of the show. Mexican sandwich? What the hell is that? Anyway. That is Ready, Steady, Cook. I mean, it has multiplayer, but... There's no second person here, so... Oh, there is a, a practice, so you can practice the... Uh, the mini-games. Multi-pan. Blah. But, uh, yeah. This uh, this is better than I thought it was going to be. As soon as I saw a Ready, Steady, Cook game for the Wii, I just thought, oh, I've got to get that. <laughs> There's no... Uh, no way I can't... Can't not play that. Um, but this is... It's okay. It does feel like a... You know, a Wii minigame collection. I think this came out on the DS as well. I assume it's very similar on the DS. Same games, but with slightly... Uh, slightly worse graphics. But Good, I've got an excellent on that. That's that's important. Anyway, that's uh, that's Ready, Steady, Cook. Um, I have to see how many other cooking-based minigame collections I can find that are licensed. Did they ever make a Master Chef game? Hmm. I doubt they did. I hope this isn't the only one, because I bet you can do better than this, but. Hmm. I sense some eBaying in my my future. <laughs>